what up guys so now we're gonna do credit if you wanna know how to become a developer take a look at the description below i have a video where i explain the three best ways to become a developer without a degree so let's look at credit credit is a the idea is pretty straightforward you're gonna ask the user for a credit card number you're gonna check if that's a valid credit card number based on this LUMS algorithm and then if it's valid you're gonna say if it's a MasterCard, if it's American Express and the way I did the main really explains what you're supposed to do so one common mistake I see in this problem is that a lot of students they write everything in main and it's really confusing to see to debug because it's just a huge chunk of code so make sure you create a lot of functions in order for you for making your life easier and also the life of others when you become a professional developer so main explains everything so you'll be able to get a credit card number get the number of digits store that in a variable called number of digits check if the credit card is valid if it is valid you print the card flag if it's not you check if it's invalid so let's go step by step we got the credit card number great so now we're going to get the number of digits let's go down to that function get num of digits so if we go over there we use a very common algorithm which is dividing the number over and over again by 10 and until it's zero and that will give you the number of digits let's say our number is 134 134 divided by 10 is actually 13 because in C division is integer division so you get rid of the decimal point then you divide by 10 again and you increment count by 1 so now we have 2 divide 1 by 10 that's 0 so now our count is 3 which is exactly the number of digits and we return the number of digits so if we look here we now have the number of digits and now we're going to use the card number to check if the card is valid how do we know if the, ch the, the, the card is valid so we use LUMS algorithm so the way the LUMS algorithm works is that we're going to add we're going to multiply every alternating digit by 2 so if you observe here 1 times 2 0 times 2 so on and so forth that will give us this but if it has more than if the mode the product one of the products has more than two digits they also want you to break it down so 12 becomes one plus two and then you add it all together so that's what the function is card valid will do so is card valid actually we break it down even further so that's very common you have functions within functions we got the number of digits okay and uh, I don't even know where we get the number of digits here. Let me see if we use somewhere else. It wasn't even necessary to get the number of digits here. All we need to do is sum every other digit. So that will multiply that by two. So let me remove this because we don't even use num of digits. So we use it somewhere. We don't use it anywhere. Okay. So we sum every other digit. Um, and what we do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna call this function sum every other digit so let's go there so that will basically 